guess it makes sense, but uh, yeah, you got a lot more on here. I copied everybody's. That's all four or five gold members, all their work. Oh, that's interesting. Go to notes. Oh, hey, there's that thing that I discovered. Wow, there's a one piece for that. Notes. Go to friend notes. So these are all the notes I took from all the peoples, too. Including my notes and everyone's wow. notes. People have grinded this out a lot more than I did. Mm -hmm. I now allow you to save solution notes in the explore mode. Be careful. I now allow you to add shapes that are already in the grid. Be careful. It doesn't have any validation for whether or not you've added it or not. Okay. So... Okay. Let me get some Twitch. So these are the shapes that are in somebody else's game but not in your game. So you can click on any dark purple shape once. And then the, the purple shape up there, you can add it to yours, but you, you only need to add it once. So if you click it, if you click it, that shape will then be in your thingy and you never have to do it again. Okay. So I'm gonna click, I wanna do this one. Add, click the, well, click off of it. Click on it. So yeah, that's the proper HUD, and it's purple, and you click it. Okay, and then I click add yeah. friend level. Yeah. Friend puzzle's been copied. That's all you need. Don't, Don't do it again. <laughs> oh, I backed up. So now you'll see everything in dark orange is a puzzle in your a thing that has yet to be uh, perfected. So you see the bottom left is the dark orange. Oh. It's, it'll, it'll still show the... Okay. It'll still it'll show, show that one, but it, 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 the, the one that's in your game is now yellow-orange. Oh, okay. Alright, that's good to know. That stumped me. Okay, so now... It's, and then if you solve... That's a, a one-click, so by default it puts all the one-clicks into the two-click zone. You, you might want to put that in the one-click. There you go. No, you can exit out immediately. I don't know how I manage that. <laughs> Okay, so now you got all your... Oh! Uh-oh. Action one step event zero for M grid maker. Undefined value. Oh, what does it say? Do you want me to paste it? Paste a, sp a screeny. So I can paste this in uh, maybe the studio dev chat. Yeah, uh, in the online channel. I think that's a temporary bug because I've been playing with it throughout the day. And it's just probably because you didn't have a, a level one one. <laughs> so, yeah. step event zero. Don't think I clicked anything? No, you should just try it again. We'll see. It's just a... Uh... I think it's because so I only allow the rings to be drawn and the sound to happen if there's something in the in the the one click zone, but because you made your own levels from scratch, you could just not put a one click in. And I think because you just pushed it from two to one right there, it decided to glitch up. You can click through this darkness. You can just click and it'll go away. Oh right. All right. Oh no. Bug. Yeah. Okay, so go to your go to your um, Enlighten Eight folder on your PC and delete the Friend One file before booting up. Enlighten Eight folder. I don't remember where those get saved. It's just in the local app data. Okay. Maybe roaming local app data. I think if you type in uh, percentage sign. Um, percent app data percent. Yeah, it'll find the app data. All right, that's how I. I know that only because uh, Minecraft, same deal. Okay. Uh, 
Um, okay, so looking for enlighten. Where are you? I'm in roaming right now. Okay. Should I be in roaming? Sure. Keep going until you find that folder. Type in percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, hit enter. Then you go down to, um, oh, where are my files? Oh, don't look at my files. I'm down to app data and then roaming. I'm in the roaming folder. Okay, so roaming, go back to app data and then go to local. Okay. And you see enlighten new cursor. Yep. Go in that folder, delete the friend one. Alright. This has been deleted. And try running it? Yeah, try running it. Go. No. Same oh, bug. Got the same thing. Yeah. Wait, friend one is back. Oh, hold oh, up. Oh, I had to, oh, yeah, you have to. Okay, so before you, you know, boot it up, delete it out of your friend one slot. Uh, to, like, type in zero and hit save. Or there's like a little button that says like delete, uh, friend. Right. And then you need to close it and then go into your folder and delete friend one. Yeah, fun. I did it. I did it. It's all my fault. Uh, delete friend. Bye. Then... Maybe get the Twitch chat up. Let me see. Martinez says, yo. What's up, Martinez? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Chat, pop out. Okay, do I have no friends now? Okay, so. I have no friends. And, and the friends one thing is deleted? Okay, so. Yes. Okay, try the last, is the last hope. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm on the board again. So I don't know what happened there, but you might want to fix all your layer ones before potentially putting that friend code back in. You can click the back arrow immediately after solving. It saves the data instantly. Oh, okay. Cool. And there's one more. Okay, so. Five. And. Yep. Five layer one. Five layer two. I just have the one for me. Is that. Oh, for me, that's correct so far. Cool. Okay, so that looks good. Hey, Martinez. You can yeah try you can try putting it back in if you want to. Okay. Might as well test the full full scenario. If you want to play Martinez, join us in the Discord. Uh, we got some links. I guess I should have put some links. This link should be. I pasted the error code that I got. <laughs> you can control A. Save, give it a few seconds. I'm really hoping it doesn't. I see the file now. Oh, that's lame. So what happened? It says do add. 
Yes. It looks like it's the exact same error. I wonder if it's... Okay, we'll clear it out again. You're on your own for now. Um, <laughs> I get no guidance. That makes me sad. What happened? So, I'll, I'll look at that error code. Action step event zero in grid maker undefined value at GML grid maker step zero. Okay, so I can look at that. Step zero, step zero, slider catches. You say you're streaming right now? Yeah, you're on Twitch. Your game's on Twitch and your voice. Slider catch adjustments, mouse zoom code. Oh, I just added the thing that allows you to do the middle mouse button. But I think it'll interfere if you also click the left button. So let me see. No click. Oh, if dragging equals true, so we're just going to say this, uh, import Greg, if no click equals zero, and dragging equals false, then do this one. It's one or the other, everyone. If no click equals zero, and dragging equals false. That should fix that. I'll be right back, people. Keep playing fire kicks. Alright. So, my thoughts should be just my thoughts now. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm going to... Fill up my layer 2s here. All the ones that take two clicks, so... So if I have this one, so what if I do like that, that's a two clicker. Hmm, what do I want to call it though? Like a platform you jump from one to the other. Do I want to just call it jump? Hmm. I'll call it just jump for now. Oh, I get extra things. I get methods and solutions to categorize it as. Alright. So that was that. And then I know the shape's gonna be different if I do the same clicks on either of these walls. Yeah, this would be different. You look like an apostrophe. Do I know how to spell apostrophe? I don't think so. Or no, not an apostrophe, a quote. Your quote. Right? No, we'll call it apostrophe. A P O S T R O. Apostrophe. Hmm. There is a special two click where you click right in this corner here. That extra piece isn't there. The same shape as Bomber, though, or Air Bomber, but it takes two clicks to clear. Hmm. Do 
despite being the same shape, one takes one click to clear, and the other takes two clicks to clear. Good to know. Actually, is that going to save the shape if I put it under tips? Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. I got a big old brownie. Nice. I'm making all the um, two click ones I can think of. Mm. Air Bomber 2. <laughs> you take two clicks. It's weird that the thing didn't glitch until you made that change. Yeah. Oh, no! Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> what? I thought I had it. Oh. It's like mirrored. I don't think it's rotated. Interesting. Well, you look like a snake, so I'm gonna call you Snake. I wonder if the system recognizes it like that. No, it doesn't. Maybe I have to back out. Oh, maybe I have to make a... No, I have to make a puzzle out of it. I'm gonna make puzzles out of all these. Uh... There we go. Nothing in the game stops you from putting in the same puzzle multiple times. Caution. Cool. Uh-oh. Did not like when I backed out like that. Uh-oh. Did it glitch? Well, I did the... I, well, let me do it with Air Bomber too, but... I uh, added the shape, and then I solved it, and then I clicked back out. Uh, don't here. back out until the thing's done. On this one. <laughs> That's the only one you can't do. Cool. Alright. Let's see if this will work. Don't glitch. I got you, I got you, I need apostrophe. Did I have any more? I had jump. I'm coming along. There we go. Alright, now if I go to explore mode. Yeah, now snake appears. It will appear if I do this, though. Mm. It doesn't. That's not even the same shape. Oh, but it doesn't if I do it here, either. Also, It's pretty uh, limited. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I was wondering, because it's, it's not a rotated... I don't think it's a rotated shape. It's, like, mirrored, mm -hmm. which makes it a different shape. Hmm. Oh, that's what I was going to try to fix. Okay. I wonder if you should call it the same thing, but like, same but different. Hmm. generally change if I it only matters if I do it horizontal clicks or 
two vertical clicks. So let's do sneak. Snake B, I guess. For vertical. Hmm. This is gonna be difficult. Come up with names for all these. So I do it up here, now it's gonna be the Oh the apostrophe again. God, it's different if I do it down here. Different shape here. The same click up here is a different shape. Hmm. Well you look like a seven, so. I wonder how many of these, I wonder how many different shapes there are for two clicks. Um, I don't know, chair, couch, we'll do couch. These two are mirrored too. Oh, actually, this one was vertical. This would have been vertical, so I guess I'll call you couch horizontal. <laughs> this is not consistent. Whatever. <coughs> <laughs> Air Bomber 2 in there, so that's everything. Are your connections working? Um, you haven't connected those in either base? Yeah, let me try solving one of these. That should work. Back out. Oh, I don't need to solve it? As soon as you make it, it makes it. Oh, cool. Okay. That. But you have to do it from a perfect, yeah. Mm, okay. You have to reset every time you want to try a different. That one didn't make a name, so. Hey. Hey, Den. Hi, Hayden. Hey, how's it I've... going? Oh, how's look at all of you guys. Alright, I got 45 minutes. Uh, we are on stream, so let me go ahead and mute you guys. Unless you want to talk, if you want to talk about business real quick, and then you can join the party. All right, go business. Oh. Whoa, my other mic was muted. But go ahead, business time. Business time. It's a delay, and then I, I just fixed it. That ought to work. Now no audio is coming through at all, right? Cool. I updated the gold version. Enjoy, you. Enjoy. 
destroy the gold that I have bestowed upon you. So yeah, I'm broadcasting through dis oh, Discord so you guys can hear, but the OBS is flattened, flatlined. So we can talk about secret business. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so just to be clear, can you hear Richard on the screen? Yes. How? Uh, do we have the stream pulled up? Um, the, uh, the audio? <laughs> do, you hear the, do you hear the enlightened music through the stream? So, are you sure it's not just me through the Discord? They're all in the same chat. It's, it's, I can hear you in Discord first, and then it um, takes a while to go through. Yeah. Come on now. Oh, I guess it's gotta wait. Uh, my OBS is... We, we, we could hear you say, how about now? That doesn't make any sense. This is stealing from my room? Quit stealing from me, Twitch. No, none of the sound things are going. Let me try this. Let me try this. Well, I just won't say anything. I'll just nod and wink. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm gonna go read over it all like um, Friday, Saturday, and then kind of mock up some wireframes of our account system and some other kind of wireframey things. Uh, not sure what to tell Philippe in this short interim. Like. I don't need to say any keywords like money, money, money. <laughs> Why does, I have a question that's not really for you guys. Mm -hmm. What did you change to make enlightened gold look so much more gold? Because it looks way more gold to me. The color. I just took every background and just yellow shifted it. <laughs> I did it when I first released it. Oh. Anything. Just if you if you're looking at fire cakes, he picked his favorite color as gold, so that's more gold than normal. <laughs> you can always change your color. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Free to boot up, friends, and we can get as many games going as possible. I was just saying, Marcus, we're gonna run through the script over the weekend and possibly wire frame some stuff. It's cool that uh, the people in our survey re replied. We have 28 people in the Google survey. The Reddit thread got more upvotes. Not a lot. Not a lot more comments, though. Yeah, but it's cool that like, this time we're actually taking a survey on what people actually want. Instead of like, this tool is so cool, they better appreciate it. Like, it's, it's yeah, a different so approach. That's definitely better from a business standpoint. Mm -hmm. Usually we're like, yeah, this stuff is amazing. And then we're like, wait, don't change it. <laughs> 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 I mean, we're pretty, we're, we're pretty lucky that the wheels caught on as it has. It's at 23,824 views. Get, get as many games going as possible. That's my goal. I got to leave and... 36 minutes. Um, as far as just hanging in with Philippe, cause that's my code word, you know, should we just draft up a thing and, and then start working on it? Maybe potenti yeah. potentially look for more Unity peoples, but ultimately, like, this is our target, this is our goal, um, blah, 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 just start. And then, you know, stock market making bank, thanks to Hayden's wisdom and teachings. All the features are already listed out for so we just need to like we and we have your ranking in there too so we just hold on hold on Call that shape the white whale. It's all the same shape. It keeps appearing just like in the stories of classic Yor. It'll just keep showing up. You'll be chasing that thing forever. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh what? Fighting go. So, Mark and I won't be able to get on the rest of this week. Mark has a doctor appointment tomorrow morning. Oh, that's right. Video time. Yeah. Okay. And then Friday for us is Thanksgiving for Americans. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can post that. We got a couple of people kind of all on stream, so that's cool. Oh, wait, where's that link that you're talking about? It's in the thread. It's the same link. <laughs> all the features you wanted, Hayden. You better play it. Go live. Okay. I'm joining the party. Cool. Yeah, also join. 
so hopefully it, it crashed uh, fire cakes is so let's hope yours is a little less crashy sub crashy So it's purple, meaning it's from the master file. You can add, click it once if you want to add the friend level. And then it'll say friend level added. And then don't don't copy it again. You can just back out and re-enter. And don't. So it's in there somewhere. You can see the dark, the dark orange, yeah. So, back out again, look at your level select. You don't have a, a puzzle that's one click? Um, don't, so, one click, hold, on, hold on, hold on. So when Firecrakes did the same thing you did, and then clicked the level 2 puzzle to get it to level 1, that's when it started crashing and you had to delete the friend file and, and you know, no longer have shapes, so... Um, because you didn't add any to the one layer, and because my code put all the one layers on layer two, uh, you might want to copy over all the shapes you want first before oh, wow. b before fixing that one. Yeah, you you can do them all. You can do them all. But you already did that one. What? The flower one. Now you have two for no reason. I tried to caution you. I really did. <laughs> no, wait. Don't. 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 <laughs> oh, I, okay. Look at him. Oh, wait. Oompa, oompa. You went too fast. That's a cool song. I didn't even know the add a friend thing was in the game. That was so surprising to me. <laughs> One day when you were falling asleep or something. <laughs> My subconscious mind's like, I'm gonna treat him to something. <laughs> uh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Where did I? Oh no. Where did I start on this? <laughs> you started at the top, but you can you can always back out and compare. The 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 level you made crystal called Zoom. That's a good one. A zoom in. How clever. That was super clever. Yeah, we're trying to get more. Well, the zoom one, it's like a box and then a box and then a box, right? Uh, a tiny box in the corner and then the rest are bigger boxes in the diagonal. So it's like, oh, he's zooming in. Uh, that was cool. I like that one. What's this partition called? Uh, T block. T with the space block. Yep, you got to be systematic. <laughs> All of your notes, all of everyone's notes should be there too. Uh, not your. Oh, I did one. 
similar, but a little different. So I'm gonna get our audio back in. Welcome, welcome, even though my audio has been in for some strange reason. Now we back. Great. I think that was uh do ba da ba dee dee dee. Wait, 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 let me think about where we're starting. I, I don't wanna start <laughs> like a Okay. Just read the name and then go clockwise. Yeah, I'll, I'll start up here and go. I I already have. I think someone else made it, but I have it already. Let's see if you will. Oh, I hear my voice now. That's terrible. It's terrible news. <laughs> it is. Well, that's true, but I, I hear it as other people hear it. It's fun to look at yourself. I made the letter E. <laughs> hey. Hey. Dude, you, got it. What you, you won. Okay, I got all layer five. All layer six. You gonna jump in, Marcus? No. <laughs> I don't have any mental mental <laughs> up to seven. Okay, to layer seven. Crystal's trying to distract me, so I'll lose my place, but it's not gonna work. Is she also playing? <laughs> or do you only have one computer? No, 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 we only have it on our other computer. We only have one computer that's decent. Oh, by the way, Akamarak, I totally forgot about another feature that I made. I actually built into the game a way to switch back and forth between two files without having to go into your folders. And oh. you, you just kind of like type in your name in the title screen, like which user are you? And if you type it in exactly how you typed in your file name, I think it knows and it can switch or something. I forgot how it worked, but I was like, oh, look, the thing that Mark was asking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. awesome. so, so that's in the game now? It's in the game now. I forgot how it worked exactly. I think you have to drag. I think you have to. Oh, I think I remember now. You have to drag in. You have to get the separate files that are your saves and name them something. N name the, uh, like, one's going to be a primary, and then one's going to be the one you want to shift into every now and then. Um, you take that other save file and you name it something simple like Mark, M A R K, all lowercase, dot I and I, and then you put it in the same folder with the other ones. And then when you boot up Enlighten, uh, on the title screen, there's like an option that says user or something. You put in Mark into that text film, hit enter, and I think it knows to save it to that file or something. But make sure you save backups <laughs> if you yeah. try that. We'll, we'll try to figure that out at some point. Mm -hmm. Possibly not today because oh, I good. wasn't sure on all of the details. But oh, okay. oh, that's true, that's true. Do we have this recorded? I see a couple 12s. Yeah, I'm like the only person who made puzzles way out there. I guess me and Hayden's single dots are way out there.
trying to trick us <laughs> I am you said joys you said high school <laughs> you also said algebra where is not the trick like just ghost the the friend aid unless you just uh clear it from your thingy but you know you can live with the purples it looks cool yeah it's, it's fine it's fine uh the notes but... yeah you saw, you saw the notes already right in my thoughts oh yeah 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 and then, then they're cool oh that's right you said you're adding in everyone's notes huh? yeah it's everybody's in there the master i also let you say uh solution notes from the explorer mode use it uh with caution right knowing that scrolling backwards kind of messes up the click keeper you gotta make sure it is what it is all oh, right right oh, i see i see pull it down into the right. able to stream i think so it's moving it's kind of slow i guess it's a wrong it. channel push it over there back? In and see if it's working. I didn't want to interrupt the meeting with my name, I guess. I can't pop out, so you'll have to just do it. Just pop, right. pop in and do it. Yeah, yeah I didn't think so. That's fine. Nope. She's got it. So we're gonna, gonna move you over. E. Nice I got E two. <laughs> yeah. E3 was a puzzle from the original line, but I don't think you'll be able to create it knowing the, the rules of asymmetry for this new version. Okay, so now that your stream's up, let me see if I can... Yes! Yes! <laughs> can we get a five? I'll do my own. So now I can move this over to the side. Sorry, your Twitch chat that nobody's talking in. No, I'll move you over to <laughs> Twitch chat. That one that the I think Mark has is the the fish plus the the tri dot. Uh -huh. I can't do E three, but I can do E two. Boo. E two. That's amazing. Oh, I can't. I can't. Slow, but it's working. <laughs> Cool. I can change this to
use that. Yeah, because the you can sometimes pull start pulling things into the corner to finish them off, but what you can pull into the corner, the sh what shapes you can pull into the corner are different depending on the corner. Write it down in your notes. Oh, I did. I did. Okay. Firecake says a lot of stuff without writing it in his notes. We need to punish Firecakes. <laughs> I did a lot of stuff. You say a lot of stuff. <laughs> I had had some notes. Like, 13! Really notes. <laughs> Alright. Uh, AMC just went up 25%. What the heck? Jeez. That's quite a return if you believed in them. I, I got out because I was mad at them, but I still believed I was also mad. <laughs> yeah, zoom out. It's such a good one. It's so simple, oh, yeah, too. Good and then a little more than one cup of water. Yeah, so in this one, like, it's easier to see which ones they are in the original and Lightning, but in, um, don't worry, I'll take a note, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, but, but in this, in this case, this is one where it's like, oh, all three clicks, you just, you just take care of those single set of lights, one with each click, all of the, mm -hmm. All of the clicks are basically visible there. It's just harder to see. Yeah, I don't have a hashtag for that concept, but I need to make one. I don't know what I'll call that. Probably like cookie cutter or something. Mm, oh, I like that. With like no excess little cookie waste on the outside. Well, that that'd be the opposite then, because you know when you cookie cut, there's all that waste. <laughs> hashtag cookie cutter. It must be a hashtag. All right. Nice. Do I need to save it as a shirt? Just do it as a tip and then... The, you can actually make uh, method notes, but when you do, you can't edit it or delete it. So it's like... Okay. Oh, okay. And did you figure out how to make uh, solutions uh, notes now? You can do it right here in explore mode. Oh, solution no Oh, hey, with the... Oh, that's right, but you said... Um... So, yeah, so like solve it or yeah, solve it, two, three, then go to it, and then that's uh, that's what you get. That's all you. And you have to like flag the name of it yourself in the in the note. Because normally the solution notes are automatically tagged to the puzzle, but you're gonna have to manually put in the correct information now. I see, so that one would be that's uh. You, you can't make a hashtag on the very first entry. You have to put a space. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. So if I did that, I see. Does that work? Cookie cutter. Oh, that note's not showing up. Okay. Wait. Oh, no, it's not. It, it's not, it's not tagged to the note, but it is associated. You can search it. It's a little, it's a little strange, but it's the best we got. Okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Burger Crown. Now we're just. <laughs> now we're just pulling things. Oh, I guess I'm in puzzle no. mode. I should be exploring right now. You can turn that off. Okay. Mm. 
any cool thoughts, Marcus? Tomorrow you're going to be potentially just looking at people's enlightened progress and making some comments. I th the people who started from scratch, I think they get it, and there's not much to uh, comment on because they're still relatively at the beginning. But it's still interesting to see what they say if you ask them a question. I couldn't come up with a good name. Not for this one. Something just looks familiar about this. I can't recall what it is. Oh, I did came I did come up with a weird name and I also talked about how to, it explains how to solve it too. Almost like it's, it's like a shaded. I just named it Diagonal Cross, cross Hatch Method or something. Oh, cross hatch would be a pretty cool one. Even though it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and it has cross hatch. Oh, now I'm back no, to that. Oh, but that doesn't mean I'm in the same mind. spot. How would you describe your approach, uh, Akamura? Mark? You Let's got see. The general approach when you see a blank slate ahead of you and you know you got a lot of work to do. I feel like I start by pulling the lights around. Um, seeing if I can pull them into a corner or pull them to the side and then when that doesn't when when that's not working I usually just try to like offset things some and like get them in a new general formation something like that what's your approach for the entire game like your global strategy because the, 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 the game basically gave you nothing to work with so you're providing a lot of the structure yourself uh, what are some of the things you set out to accomplish early on or wh wh how do you see what you've done so far how does it fit into uh, the road to mastery are, are, sorry am I thinking more in terms of am I thinking mainly about gold version or about just in life just, everything? just gold just, just gold yeah like if your goal is to master gold as well then like how far are you in your journey and and how well do you think it's going? Let's see. Oh, that's a good question. Because I could imagine this. I, I do have a lot of. Um, I, I do have a lot of knowledge carried over from the original Light Enlightened, but also a lot of that doesn't um, apply in exactly the same way in this version. Mm. But I at least have a better idea of how to approach things. Let's see. Let me think. Uh, fire cakes, that's a Yoshi egg. What'd you say? That is a Yoshi egg. Real quick. Yoshi? From the NES game Yoshi, in which you pair up egg tops with egg bottoms to get big combos, that is a Yoshi egg. Oh, it took me, that took me a while to see. Like, if this is all connected. Yeah. Oh, I know, but it's not, because it's... <laughs> Pieces of egg. Soon Cracking we egg. will all be connected. Yeah, that's what you do in the game. You put the two halves together. Huh. I'll bring it up so the stream doesn't know. Egg. Doesn't think I'm crazy. <laughs> Yoshi and yes. So I think as far as um sorry, did you have more to say about the Yoshi egg? I'm just gonna show the gameplay real quick. Look at those Yoshi eggs on stream! That is a Yoshi egg. <laughs> Man, that game was fun to play as kids. But not as adults. Moving on. <laughs> cool. Go ahead, Mark. Because oh, yeah, so I, I think. Incomplete I, I... assumption about the symmetry here. 
can make think... symmetries on the diagonal, <laughs> not on this diagonal. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I think my global strategy is uh, thinking back on how... I, I feel like a lot of things that helped is taking notes, looking at those notes, um, being consistent, so like coming back to it, so like doing a little bit each day, and then when uh, I didn't, I wasn't as active in talking about it, but when I when I would get stuck, oftentimes having a conversation with Richard about, in voice chat, about what, uh, and just like, just talking about where I was at, what I was thinking through, usually helped lead to a breakthrough of some sort. So let's see, so the main things are consistency, note taking, uh, exploring the different modes, so like going between puzzle, explore, notes, um, and some and some community. Hmm. Uh, one thing that I did fix for the goal version is the records mode now works. So uh, it'll be tracking how much, how everything over time. Ooh, okay. And uh, you go to your stats. And then, you know, it just started inching, creeping forward, but uh, hmm. you go to the right, it'll track how many, keep going. So notes written 17, keep going. You use the click keeper once. <laughs> Only once, oh, yeah. Yeah, and then it'll track your, your time in the different modes. I've been, I've been making, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to ask Fire Kids next, so I'm not going to spoil it. Fire okay, Kids, so what what is your approach? For enlightened gold is it for playing for the game? The fact that the game gives you no puzzle mode and you're off on your own. What are you doing? What are you stressing? And what are you avoiding in order to improve as quickly as possible? I'm trying to limit the complexity of my clicks. I was building up. Um, my layers starting from one, and I have a bunch on two, and I, I'd imagine the upper layers could be a lot more, but I clearly did not work on this as much. Um, if there was like any interesting shapes that were easy to remember, like clicking, say, um, a slash, like across the center, <laughs> slash click, then I would make an exception. And, see what uh, patterns come up from there. I think some of it is based off of the interesting shapes that I would imagine um, in the other form of enlightenment. Like Slash had an interesting shape in the other game, so like, oh, what happens here? Mm -hmm. But yeah, generally I'm just trying to avoid clicking too much and just seeing, memorizing these new patterns because they're very foreign to me right now. And once I get to the higher click ones, I, I think I'll start seeing some similar shapes because some of these shapes will uh, lead into the smaller ones. And if I know all those, those smaller ones, then I think I'll be in a good shape to be able to solve the rest of the puzzle. So that's where I'm at right now. Cool. It's interesting. Crystal, you're next. If, if... Crystal. She's gonna. Cool. Yes. I know your your gameplay isn't on screen right now, but how would you describe your uh, approach to playing Enlightened Gold? It's a fresh start, new cursor, mm -hmm. no structure given to you. What kind of structures are you making for yourself? Sure. So far, what I've been doing, I've been going into explore mode and putting in the um, solutions I remember from the puzzles in the regular Enlightened and mm -hmm. seeing what shape it makes. Mm -hmm. So I think I did robot eyes, and I've done like like uh, one of the shapes I liked a lot in Old Enlightened that I got really good at was T shapes, mm -hmm. uh, T shaped solutions. Um, so I put those in a couple different areas to see what it looks like, um, kind of combining them with each other. So like, I think there was a I can't remember what the actual puzzle name was in the original line. I think it was maybe two cornered, mm -hmm. but in that one you just do two T shapes and you bring the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. So I always call it T for two. So I have that one as well that I put in there. So basically what I've been doing is 
just going into explore mode, spending a lot of time in explore mode, um, just doing old solutions and seeing what it creates. Mm -hmm. um, just so I can get used to this new crazy cursor. That's interesting. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's interesting. I did notice that when I looked at your notes and it said slash, I'm like, this doesn't even look like a slash. So I was like, wait yep. a minute, what if, it, what if I slash. click the yeah. slash? Ah! <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, Hayden, same question. Uh, I think I'm mostly interested in figuring out more about the puzzle as a system now that I guess my understanding, or I'm trying to build an understanding of the puzzle independent from the, uh, cursor. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to just discover more about what this new cursor does to my understanding that already understands the old cursor. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. Interesting. Because um, I think I think that there's an interesting compounding thing happening there, hmm. where I'm I'm able to think about the puzzles in new ways that I hadn't been able to before. Yeah. Is it other than that, I think I'm uh, I'm just. Kind of just clicking around and seeing what interesting shapes I can make and, and trying to figure out if it would or wouldn't have been possible previously with the other cursor and stuff like that. Cool. Hmm. I think it's really interesting that like with this new cursor, most of the, the puzzles I've made from the old solutions come out with the puzzle itself looking very asymmetrical um, because the mm. cursor itself is asymmetrical. So that's been really interesting for me. No, I was just thinking, like, just looking at, like, layer three itself, it's like, man, there's, like, I feel like there's a lot more variety in the crazy looking kind of shapes you get, even, like, lower down. Ouch. Hmm? Marcus said, ouch. <laughs> oh, it was, how, how is that an ouch? I don't know I, I think it wasn't related. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> You're dissing the original game shape. That's all I heard. But anyway, keep on going. Very interesting looking shapes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Crystal's taking the wheel for a sec. Cool. So, like. Right, that's robot eyes. But look at it. That's not even close to what robot eyes looks like. Not even close. <laughs> Do you know if any puzzles are close? Um, that's not. Uh, oh, I'm so curious about symmetries now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm taking over. Um, well, the upper left corner, that's the same as the mm -hmm. corner click. That's like one of the only ones I found. <laughs> but yeah, then if I go into any other corner, it's... Yep, yep. Yep. It's interesting. Um, and my, my results so far, like I'm about at three hours. Uh, there's about, about an hour there of unrecorded time because of the temporal anomaly that hit us all. And, um, but my notes are at 122 and 40 renamed shapes. Uh, hidden shape tool was useful at first when I couldn't see how to get to the end. When I didn't realize how close I was to solving a puzzle and I would get to the corner and I would just wouldn't know if I'm far off or close, I started adding puzzles in the corner so I could then use hidden shapes so I could then know how close I am. Uh, I used the flow history tool to make sure that I wasn't, to, to see how many times I could branch out from a point, but I think in this game in general there's much fewer branches. Um, relevant notes, there's not a lot of notes yet. Um, I spent a lot of time in explore mode, about half and half to explore puzzle, uh, about a fifth of the time in notes and a good chunk of time half the time overall in level select it looks like just looking at things um the overwatch the negative overwatch it kind of making sense here 
where every time you get like a redundant click or some some weird thing that it dings you for, it just softly tallies that up versus all the things you're doing positively that the game knows is good practices. So like definitely on the golden pass through, it's like, look, you're doing very few things that are like dragging you down and you're doing lots of things that are building you up. You can always check your overwatch ratio for that. That's, that's how it's supposed to work. I don't know if it actually works. Uh, but yeah, the less deja vus you're seeing, that means you're moving through things and not just repeating. Um, 74 redundant clicks overall in three hours. Uh, stuff like that, just kind of interesting to see how your learning efficiency is, where you're spending your time. Uh, you can see your, your compasses too, what we call compass. Um, compass. <laughs> the, it'll, it'll show you, like almost no one spends time in daily, I deleted off the menu. And then chat, almost no one spends time in lecture because it's all the same. So really, uh, you can see my orange slice. I got the most enlightenment points from doing puzzle mode and a little bit of explore, but almost none from my notes. Um, and for mastery, it's less uh, mastery points from being in puzzle, but more in explore mode, right? So I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth between these two primary ways to advance. Not, not that the uh, enlightenment and mastery systems are super relevant here. There's, everything's kind of broken. But um, I spent a ton of time making lots of hashtags. I already have a lot of hashtags, and I, there's so many more I need to make. One that I like is the uh, in standard. So I say, like, if you play like this is standard enlightened, you'll mess up, right? Or I have one that says, like, mirrored for anything that's with the mirrored symmetry. I have a very specific maneuver called a switch statement that I look for. Uh, standard plays with standard strategies, like clicking on, um, the standard strategy is basically clicking in a way that eliminates lights that you don't need and, and pushes lights in the direction. That usually gets me in trouble with the new cursor, but I identify that strategy as standard play and I contrast it. So now that I'm, I need to get a good idea of how many puzzles work with standard strats and how many don't. And that kind of drives me closer to what Hayden was talking about. Like, what is the nature of this new cursor and how does that relate to the board? There's so many hashtag concepts from the original that partially line up and sometimes don't at all. And just kind of mapping all that out. Hashtag anti-instinct when your instincts fail you for the new cursor, stuff like that. Just constantly making hashtags based on larger approaches and pictures rather than small uh, patterns. Because the small patterns, I'm assuming they're gonna work their way out, right? Like I got all these shapes and we know there's probably like an endless number of shapes, but that's less important to me than kind of what Hayden was saying, uh, finding the nature. I forgot who else did it in the original game, but they, I think it was um, NFT Jeff, where he tried to solve every puzzle with like a single dot to figure out which shapes were unsolvable and which ones he could build from anything. Hayden started that approach, so I copied all of his. And it's a neat way to go about it, to kind of recognize where your absolute limits are so you don't even have to worry about getting lost in the smaller steps. You just know what the limits of things are. So it, tons of different ways of approaching gold, lots of different ways to think about it. Um, s scratching out your own way through puzzle mode is basically how I did the original Enlightened. There was no level select. I just had to build them up myself. Um, so now you guys are experiencing what that's like to, f to find structure as you explore out and then bolster it by adding puzzles to the thing. Mm, yeah, yeah. And lots of curious things I keep noting. Like I like to have the notes if it's working properly, which it may not be for you guys. Uh, if you copy a note into your system, it should keep the original player's color. So I got, I got a little bit of blue, a little bit of orange. See, see my little rainbow? I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter if you guys can't see it. I'll paste a picture of it. In the, in the Enlightened channel, where are you? I'll post it in the uh, daily. But yeah, like, I'm just, I'm just grabbing everything that you guys say and do and just instantly working with it. Like, making hashtags based off Crystal's methods, looking at the thing that Hayden's doing, just waiting for him to finish, and I'm gonna snag it up as soon as it's done. I'm not gonna do that work, I don't need to. 
uh, I, I went in my own direction. And then when you collect the notes, you're like, ha, 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 ha. Supposedly. <laughs> Allegedly said, ha, ha, ha. Your Honor, I present this to the court. There was a specific thing where I was working out earlier today. It's on stream. It's kind of cool. I was I was stumped by a couple of single daughters, but I kept, and instead of spending too much time in looking for the answer, I just kept bouncing between like the three things I knew that would eventually get me there. Hashtags, uh, finding smaller puzzles that build it up, writing the, uh, taking a note of the solutions, and then going back and forth and back and forth. And I, I got a breakthrough. Uh, where is it? Whoa. My breakthrough was I found a, a solution to reverse bite. I used a deceptive corners hashtag and translated the bite into a southeast. And then I realized using hidden shapes that there were two itsy bitsies. And then I remembered the mirror principle and applied the transform in order to reveal the solution. And that's how I got this one. But the only reason I found that answer is because I had f two hashtags and three puzzle names kind of all working simultaneously. So my general approach is to get as many of those key things as possible, which are, you know, the whole point of the CPTM system, that triangle funnel, is to get hashtags. That's why you're doing all this. And if, and if you're exploring and not generating hashtags, it's just kind of, you're kind of stuck in this like middle stage. And if you're taking notes, you're not looking them over and processing them, you're just stuck here. And I'm just trying to get as many of these as possible. It's, and hopefully the VIN sorter works, I don't know. Let me just go ahead and try it. You go in and you pick something like um, Conway hook. And yeah, okay, so I need to adjust that. The, the puzzles are off the screen. Brilliant. Let's just try this, this, and this. Vin sorter, Conway hooks. Yep, so everything works. Soon I'll be able to add a bunch of puzzles and, and make the hashtags and just really see like why, how does this overlap with what I'm used to and things like that. Uh, Conway hoof. So with the, my process, I definitely need to make it to where the little shapes that pop up ignore the original. Got it. Almost done. I got to check out in a few minutes, guys. Uh, final words on your golden experience so far. Um, yeah, final words. It's really interesting. It is interesting. Okay. Yeah, so sort of flip things on its head a little bit. Like, okay, I know the basics of this game, but I don't know the basics of this game. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Symmetry, or I guess more accurately, the lack of symmetries. There's only one now, and I'm really curious if there's anything special about this shape in particular that the other shape doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. The. Uh... Yeah, one thing, one thing I suggest for everyone is to lean harder into um, looking at the notes and then the hashtags of other people. If that's the goal, according to the CPTM system of learning, and then somebody gives you a plate full of hashtags, I don't know, you, you should be gobbling them up uh, and seeing how that affects your, your, I mean, just copying them into your file alone is already half the work. Um, because, you know, hashtags can be called up even when you're typing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like, kind of thinking about the whole broad picture of your entire experience playing Enlightened, and when, when you look back at your stats, you can see when you made breakthroughs and what actions led to it. And then in the second time around, if you're more conscious of exactly what those are, you should be, like, aiming directly at those and ignoring almost everything else. That's the idea, at least. That's what I'm trying. Uh, but my thing I know naturally I lean into copying other people's stuff. I just incorporate it instantly because I think it's interesting. Uh, so all you guys' names for puzzles, I have them almost all learned and even the, the simultaneous names, I'm like, nope, just remember them all because they're interesting. That kind of um, versatility just allows me to slip into different 
play styles and head spaces so I can basically increase my chances of noticing something. And when I notice it, it just feeds the whole process all over again. Yeah. But yeah. Good times. <laughs> cool, I got five games on stream. That's our record. We did it. So until we close down OBS, or we just leave it running. Um. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat, cook dinner, and eat. Dinner, eat. Yep, eat, cook dinner, eat. It's very specific order. Uh -huh. good. Yep. I'll leave this the Twitch okay. running, and I'll hopefully mute this so that until you guys are done playing, just play however much you want. Okay. Uh, no. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, that's right, I remember that. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we are going to take off to. Alrighty, talk to you all, um, not tomorrow, but sometime. Uh, yeah, have a nice Thanksgiving. Yeah, have a good Thanksgiving. Oh, thank you, you too, even though it's in Japan. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. I really am leaving. I'm just about to see. No. <laughs> All right. Bye. Daily challenges sound like really fun to try right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, how bad could I be? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to even guess. <laughs> 